Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be here and I'm doing a whole like work week in my life this week because people ask me like, what the hell do you do all day? And I'm like, you know what? I need to create a video to show everyone exactly what I do. I'm not just in the kitchen all the time, except for today. I'm in the kitchen, but I figured I would take you guys along for my whole week um, and show you guys exactly what my daily schedule is like. It's kind of changing all of the time, but I thought this week would be a good week because I have, um, I'm gonna do a day in the kitchen today, and then tomorrow I have a few meetings downtown in the city, um, and then I'm going to New York later this week for a work event. So it's going to be super fun, and I thought that this would be the perfect way to um, kick off part of my YouTube series. So I'm just still accepting ideas for different things you guys want to see, but I've got a lot of things on the docket planned, and I'm super excited. So I'm actually making all of my Christmas and holiday cookies today. So that is what Erin Lewis Hole is doing in her kitchen, and I'm about to go make a major mess and I'm so excited so comment subscribe um, please let me know if you like these videos I'm feeling inspired to keep making them and you guys I love you so hope you guys all have an amazing week and enjoy this little video <laughs> So I'm shooting um, cookies right now, and this is how I do my little setup. It's very uh, jankity. Pumpkin holding up the boards. I got some cookies, some snowball cookies. I got my milk. I'm very basic when it comes to photography. Um, but yeah, this is the camera that I use. It's a Mark IV. I'm like just learning it, and I probably should not have this camera, but you guys have to start somewhere. Um, so I always do it right up against my window. Yeah. Oh, they look so pretty. So look how cute our cookies turned out. I'm obsessed with them. So cute. I'm making another batch of cookies because today's my big cookie day. It's going to be like a white chocolate cranberry cookie. Um, and then look at these guys. How cute. I broke that one's leg on purpose. Oh my goodness. I love them. Right there. So it's a little crazy, but that's how I do it, quick and easy. So I just um, have been working on my computer for a little bit because today I did like all of my recipes and then I have to do some computer work. Um, today's like kind of like a boring day because I'm just like in my house, but I need to go make some lunch. So I'm gonna go make some oatmeal, which I don't know why I've been eating oatmeal a lot lately. Um, or maybe I'll make some leftovers, I'm not sure. But that is like basically the rest of my day. I'm not really gonna do a ton of other things besides computer work. Um, I need to go down and stretch because I really hurt my knee, which if you're following along my Instagram, you can see I've been complaining about my knee pain. So I'm gonna go do, like take like a half hour and go downstairs and stretch. But like, that's all I do for work today. I have like probably like 70 emails right now. So I just need to go answer all of those. Um, but yeah, let me show you what I'm gonna make for lunch. Let's see what we have. I know we have stuff in our fridge, but Sometimes when there's stuff in your fridge, you're just like, mm, I really want this. 
Oh, Bud Light, nice. Um, okay, so that's Tom's meal prep. I have one meal prep, I have apple crisp, and then I have this salad dressing that I still wanna eat. So I'm thinking I might make a salad with some grilled chicken, because I know I have grilled chicken. I think I'll do that. Let's see, or maybe I'll stew, oh, I forgot, we have this pasta left over. I'm gonna have this pasta. It's like a quinoa pasta, quinoa and um, brown rice pasta from Trader Joe's, and then we just mixed it with um, that spaghetti squash leftover stuff that we had the other night. So, we have a lot of alcohol and butter. <laughs> Every time I make something for the blog, like, there's no question if, if I'm gonna have a piece of it or not. So, I just got a gingerbread cookie. I lit my candle. And I am watching a YouTube video, but I should be working. So I'm uploading new photos to a um, recipe that's gonna go live tomorrow. So for Erin Lives Whole, I plan out all of my recipes that are gonna go out for the week. Um, and that just helps keep, keep me organized. So I keep them all in like a Google calendar. And then I also have my um, planner, which I'm obsessed with this planner. It's from Plum Paper, and I just break down everything I need to do for the week, all the different things I have, and then I have another planner, which is not really a planner, it's just more of like my, where I write all my recipes, um, and any like other things I have for cooking. So yeah, I have a lot of pen and paper that follow me around everywhere, but it is honestly keeps me very organized and how I like know exactly what I need to do each day. get to a workout or like wherever they need to go and just like lay on that not actually do anything because I don't feel like doing anything but I need to stretch <laughs> it's gonna take me forever to get motivated and I'm like staying in my fuzzy sweater I should take it off <laughs> so I just got done stretching and then I came up here and I threw some stuff in the oven, gonna make some chicken and some Brussels sprouts and some other veggies and then I'm gonna have a salad with it. Um, Tom just got home and I'm basically done work for the night. I'm on a TV segment tonight so I'm gonna watch the TV segment but I'll probably do some emails and then wrap it up. That's basically what I do for the rest of the work. Um, and then tomorrow I have a couple of meetings. But that's basically it. I like to like shut off by like eight o'clock because honestly I get tired and I'm working all day and no one really should be working until like 11. So I normally shut it off and yeah, that's it. to a meeting at Starbucks, uh, meeting with a graphic designer, a potential graphic designer, because I need to get like more of like a flow and theme to my brand. And I haven't got my logo updated in forever. So she's gonna do like fonts, colors, um, and just like a basic theme for me, which I'm very excited about. So I'm meeting her at Starbucks in 10 minutes. It's 9.50, so I have to be there at 10. Then I'm gonna go to Philadelphia Runner because I need to get new running shoes. And I'm thinking I'm maybe doing a Whole Foods haul for you guys. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it today, but I wanna make like a fun video of all of my favorite Whole Foods products. Um, I'll eventually do a Trader Joe's one too, but I felt like Whole Foods is like my favorite place ever. And so I'll do like all of my pantry staples and everything. So I think that might be a good idea. I might do that today. Um, but if not, I have a pretty like chill day today. I just have a couple of meetings and then I can do computer work. Um, and then tomorrow I'm like hiring my mom to come down and bake cookies for me. Um, so long story, I'll explain it all tomorrow. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to do now. And yeah, so I'll keep you guys posted. So 
I just filmed a whole foods haul. And I'm going to post it soon. So that, I just got back from my meeting and um, it went really well. We like are going to work on like a whole new brand for Erin Loves Whole. And I'm pumped about it. It's going to be so fun. I'm going to translate it over to my YouTube channel as well. Um, but then I ran to Whole Foods. I did a little Whole Foods haul. And now I'm going to do some computer work um, and chill and ice my knee. So I have some knee pain. And yeah, it's just going to be a computer day the rest of the day i wanted to shoot cookies that i made yesterday because i like saved two to photograph today because i didn't photograph them but i accidentally like told tom he could take the cookies to work and so he thought i meant he could take all of the cookies to work so he took all four containers of cookies and i didn't shoot the ones so i like quickly stopped him this morning i was like oh, you need to bring those cookies back because i did not shoot them yet so he has to bring them to back tonight and then i'll shoot them tomorrow but then yeah that's basically it Oh my god. You know when you're like staring at I'm really blood this candle. <sighs> you know when you're staring at the computer literally all day and your brain just like stops working. That's happening to me right now. Um I just sat for like four hours and did some computer work, which I really needed to do, so I'm glad I got it done. But now I need to get ready because I'm going to go stretch, which is the lamest thing I've ever heard. But I honestly really hurt my knee. I know I keep saying that. <laughs> But I need to go stretch and then I'm going to acupuncture for the first time. So curious to see how that helps me. But um, that's what I'm up to now. So I'm basically done my work day. It's like 5.30 now. I'll probably hop back on later and do some stuff. But I'm going to run off to acupuncture and then pray that that fixes me. Because I cannot handle this pain any longer. So thank you. Good morning. Just got done doing my hair. It's kind of really not that cute right now but um I am just doing my hair right now and then I'm gonna do my makeup later and I thought I would show you guys how I do some of my makeup I don't know if that interests you but that's what I'm gonna do also it looks like I should have a straight up mullet like I need to like put my hair to the side <laughs> all right I gotta fix this later um but anyway so I am just about to sit down and do some work before I head out for the day so today is wednesday and i'm going to um i have to go to target and then i have to go to like cvs to pick up a few things and then i'm going with my friend sam we're going to this like junkyard it's called a uh, philadelphia salvage and they have like all different antique like one time there was like an antique duck and donut sign but it's like this huge yard filled with like old signs and like really cool things they have like an inside and outside so inside there's like more like smaller things um just like a lot of it's like a huge antique yard basically like, i don't know how else to explain it but that's where we're gonna go so i'm kind of like taking a half day um and that's i mean like i guess this kind of work because i'm going to use some of the props for my actual like photography and stuff so i'm going to do that um and then i'm going to come home and i have to make well i have a um acupuncture appointment at two so i'm going to do that and then I'm gonna come home and I have to do um, some baking for some recipes and then I'm gonna go get Sam later. So, yeah, so I will take you along with me on our little antiquing adventure. So that is my very basic makeup look. I just keep everything simple and I actually will put some lip gloss on. I like wear lip gloss all the time. It's like my favorite. I don't really do a lot of lipstick, but I just put that True Whip on. So what you saw I did, I just basically put some, I use like beauty counter and natural beauty products just because I feel better about putting them on my face. I'm don't, not opposed to like all the other stuff and I always grew up with that stuff, but so what I did is I just put lotion on my face 
and then I put um, that looks like foundation but it's actually just like a cream and it's just like a sheer color so it doesn't actually do anything like obviously you can tell I'm not tan um, but it's just like a cream it's like a lotion with a little bit of cream it has SPF in it and then I did some bronzer I did concealer um, those were all beauty counter and then I did blush I did the primer on my eyelashes then I curled them just a little bit I barely curled them because I'm not really doing anything today so I'm just like okay I don't really need to get all dolled up but then I did the mascara and then or oh, I did eyeliner too um and then I did brows so I used like a little bit just to like give my brows some shape and some colors and fluffiness and then that was basically it I think that was it and I didn't do any eyeshadow or anything just because I'm not doing anything today like I said so that is my basic morning beauty routine also I'm very curious to know what natural beauty products do you love that I need to have because I'm looking to up some more so I want to go shopping all right I just got in my car and headed to CVS and um, Target and I like have not had coffee yet this morning so I am running into the Target to get the Starbucks I want a peppermint mocha because it's like freezing outside and I'm in the mood because it's like finally they have all of their holiday drinks and that's my favorite so um, I'm currently balancing this camera on like my dashboard but I just got this so I'm gonna attach it here so that you guys I can drive and chat with you and I cannot wait it's a little things in life but I'm off to go do that um and then I am going to pick up my friend and then we're going to antique so I can't wait I like to see that they have some more natural beauty products I wish they had a little bit more and maybe more makeup because it just seems to be like skincare. But to start in the right direction. Okay, I love these and I need them. They're so cute, aren't they? I just tried them on. I think I'm gonna get them. We're at American Philadelphia Salvage. <laughs> Philadelphia Salvage. <laughs> and we're going to go picking. It's like a junkyard. Okay, I don't want to say that too loud because I don't want them to be offended. I don't think they are. It's but salvage yard. They have like all different stuff here. I'll have to show you guys. Yeah, like they repurpose those planters. The doors, and it's just like a whole yard of stuff. Not and you're on camera. Yeah, I think those are mixers from the old Mixers. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. Like, look at it. All right, we're going to go explore. That looks cool. Okay, this thing is a Tasty Cake mixing bowl, which if you know what Tasty Cakes are, it's like a Philadelphia treat staple how cool is that this is awesome so sam got this awesome it's really hard to tell but it's a betty crocker mixer and the top part comes off and you can use it as a hand mixer Cool. she's gonna use it in photos so I just got home from acupuncture and now I am making my gingerbread cookies let's see they're soft baked ginger snaps you guys they are so freaking good everyone always requests them and I'm going to New York tomorrow so I want to bring a little treat so I'm making them now So I'm packing because I'm going to New York City tomorrow for work um, and for a little bit of fun. It's fun because when you work and you're fun, crossover, that's even better. Um, so I thought I would take you guys along with, you, with me and show you what I'm packing. It's a quick 24-hour trip. I'm literally there for like 23 hours. So let's do it. All right, so I'm packing now and I just have a sports bra, t-shirt, 
This is what I'll sleep in. I actually, at least this is a matching set, but this is not the matching set, it's in the wash. Um, and then I just brought some coffee pants. These are my favorite pants ever. These are the joggers from Airy American Eagle, and you guys are like butter. Like if you don't have them, you need them. I will link them below. Um, and then I am bringing the sweatshirt, which needs to be ironed, but I'm gonna do that later. And it's just like a hoodie, and it has like a cross, and I love it, it's super cute. I'm um, bringing these shoes, because I'm all, I have my event, so I'm gonna wear these shoes to my event with this outfit. So it's this new, like, kind of like almost like a bell shirt from Madewell. Has a collar. It's all black. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to wear black jeans or regular jeans. I know regular jeans probably look better, but I just love the all black look, especially with those shoes. So we'll see. Um, I got my Primally Pure deodorant, which I don't ever trouble without. It's the best natural deodorant ever. Um, I can also link that down here. But if you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm obsessed with this. Have been for two years. And then I bring the Primary Pure Chopsticks everywhere I go. Have one and everything. And then I'm going to grab, let's go get, still walking around in my shoes. Um, let's see. I'm going to bring my makeup bag, my MZ Wallace bag. Has all my stuff in it. Let's grab this. Oh, I'm going to need my curling iron as well, but I'm going to um, do my hair tomorrow morning. So I'm going to leave that there. I'll just grab it. Hopefully I don't forget, but grab it before I go. And yeah, that's all I'm packing. This is a quick, quick, quick trip. I'm walking to Cameron's apartment because that's who the event is with tonight and I am so excited. It is a gorgeous day here. So I decided to walk because I should take a cab probably or the subway but I'm like I don't really want to figure that out. So I'm just going to walk and it's going to take 20 minutes but I'm really happy to be here and every time I'm in New York City I'm always so excited because the vibe is just incredible. So I'll take you along for my day. Well, that building right there is my old corporate office for New York City. I've been there a couple times. My mom did the design on the inside because she worked there too. And here I am now, just doing my own thing. We are backstage at Samsung. Hey. This is so legit. Aaron, this is Cameron I'm into this and Sari. Really we're on a panel tonight speaking about anxiety and mental health and we're so excited. Good morning. I just slept over at my friend Michael's house, who is my childhood best friend. And now I'm going to meet Cameron for breakfast. We're going to this place called Westbourne. It's like a healthy cafe kind of thing. Um, but then I'm taking the train home. I said it's a super quick trip. But the event last night was so fun. I spoke on a panel and I never really done anything like that. It was like in like an amphitheater. I'll try to see if I can like insert like a little photo right here to show you what it looked like, but it was super cool. Um, so just walking around New York City and every time I'm here, I think I might have said this yesterday. You guys, like the city is so alive. Like it's so different than Philly. It's just buzzing. Like we're going to bed last night and it's like a Thursday night. And people outside of his window are just like out until like 2 a.m. It's just so cool. I don't know. I just like love it. It's just alive and I don't know. Every time I'm here, I'm like, I could live here. And then I don't know if I actually could. But going to get breakfast and then I'll catch up with you all later. All right, you guys, I just got home from New York. I am so tired and it's Friday. Best part about my job is that I literally can work from wherever. Um, I did some work on the train, but I'm basically just gonna chill for the rest of the day, answer emails, catch up and be done. So I had kind of had an easy work week. This is not a typical work week for me. It's normally like in the kitchen, also doing a ton of blog writing and contract writing and I can definitely show you one of those weeks as well. But thank you for following along. Make sure you like and subscribe. I would love it. Leave a comment. Tell me what you thought about this. And you guys, thank you. Love you so much.